Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually going to be renovating the Ragdoll Refurb lot in Brindleton Bay. Now this used to be a residential lot, but I thought that instead of having it be a residential lot, I'm going to be turning it into a restaurant. So this house, did, this lot as a whole, did have a very like industrial old factory kind of feel to it when you get the game you know the the regular lot and i really wanted to keep with that kind of style for the restaurant so this ended up being like a very like industrial style seafood restaurant and yeah i really like the way it turned out i did cut out the first little bit of this video of me just going through and like deleting everything that was in the lot since obviously i didn't want to bulldoze it since yeah, I wanted to use like the shell of the original build and like add to it and renovate it just a little bit. I didn't want to just bulldoze the whole thing and start from scratch. So yeah, this is for my save. This is going to be for my save file. So this is for my rebuild Brindleton Bay project for the save file. And you guys can find it up on the gallery. By the time this video goes out, it will be up on the gallery. And you can find it by searching hashtag rebuild Brindleton Bay or by searching just my gallery ID which is Chrissy York or hashtag Chrissy York or so anything like that. Those like everything that you guys need to find my builds and my sims and stuff on the gallery is always in the description for you guys. If you maybe aren't sure about my gallery ID or a hashtag you can use or something like that. All of that info is always in the description. And I also re recently, probably within a lot, the last like three or so months, three or four months, I've been adding online gallery links into my descriptions as well for my builds and stuff. So yeah, there will be an online gallery gallery link <laughs> down there as well. Now, I really do need to apologize guys that if for this voiceover, it's probably going to be a mess. And if it is a mess, I'm really sorry, but I haven't recorded anything in like six days or something. And that might not sound like a long time, but if you've ever done voiceovers, then you'll know that it's definitely a skill that you learn over time. And it's something that you can very, very easily forget. So you get out of practice really, 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 really easily when it comes to, the, to doing voiceovers and things like that. Just... You know, it's not that easy talking to yourself for like 16 minutes at a time. Yeah, you get you get really out of practice really, really fast. So yeah, sorry if this voiceover is a bit of a mess. And then I also want to tell you guys, I'm really sorry that last week the videos were... The videos last week were really, I don't know, sporadic, I guess. I usually upload three days a week, but last week I only uploaded twice and... Yeah, this video itself is probably going to be going out lo a lot later than I post normally or it's go just going to go out on a different day than it normally does. But yeah, this the past two weeks or week and a half by now has been really... It's just been hard. I'll just say that. It's been hard for me. And yeah, videos and just recording in general kind of took a back seat to everything. I just... I wasn't in the mood, I just I just couldn't basically, but yeah, the last day or two I've been feeling I've been feeling better and I've been feeling a bit more creative as well. So I did complete like three builds, this being one of them and then two others that I have done by now, so that's great. I just need to find the time to do the voiceovers for them, but they're all edited and everything and yeah, I've been doing quite a few community lot builds. All three of them that I have done so far are community lot builds. And yeah, I've just been in a really big like community lot kick at the moment. So the next few videos will probably be community lots. I hope you guys don't mind. But if you are like a regular viewer on the channel, you probably know that Community lots aren't my strong suit. They're not the things that I usually enjoy building. Normally I enjoy building family homes and things like that a lot more than community lots. So for me to actually have fun with a community lot is really, really rare. So I figured that while I'm in this mood, while I'm feeling, you know, feeling this good about building community lots, I'm going to capitalize on it and 
I'm just going to build like a ton of community lots. All of them will be for my save file, so that's another good thing. I'm getting some real, like, I'm making some real good progress with the save file. I still have an insane amount of work left to do, but yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So that's that's one good thing, at least, I suppose. But yeah, I hope you guys like how this turned out. Like I said, it did, it did turn out to be a seafood restaurant. And I did include some like vegetarian options on there, on the menu as well. And yeah, I don't know, I just really like the way it turned out. I normally, like I said, don't build community lots. So for me to really enjoy it this much was a lot of fun. And I was struggling for a bit to think about what I wanted to do with this lot since... I don't know, I didn't really I didn't really want there to be another residential lot here and I was really struggling to think about, you know, do I want to just renovate this lot? Do I want to rebuild it? But at the end of the day I just decided that since I wanted it to be a industrial kind of an industrial build and I'm really not that good at building industrial exteriors. Industrial interiors I can do, but I'm not really that good with building like a factory exterior, which is what I wanted this to be. So that's why I just renovated the old lot and just added some bits to it here and there. But yeah, I really like the way it turned out. I had a lot of fun, you know, experimenting with things that I don't normally use. So yeah, there are a lot of things in this build and in the other community lot builds as well that I've done that are items that I don't typically use. And I think that's because I don't typically build in like community lots and a lot of the items would probably work best for community lots, which is why I never use them. But yeah, I really like the way this turned out. And just something really quickly. Um, I mentioned on Twitter and Instagram and I believe I posted something about this on my community tab as well last week sometime about why the past week and a half or so has been a little bit difficult for me and just explaining about you know video wise what's going on with the channel and stuff like that and the reason I'm bringing this up again is just to tell you guys that if you ever if you're ever wondering about you know when a video will be out or what's going on with the channel if I'm not posting or something like that definitely go and check out my Twitter my Twitter and my Instagram and all my like social media stuff is always in the description but I do tend to forget to use the community tab and it's probably not not the best way to keep in touch with any creator I don't think since yeah, you don't get notifications when creative posts on their community tab. You know, we as creators don't get notifications if you comment on, on our post or anything like that. So, yeah, it's probably not the best way to keep, like, in touch with everyone. So, I do use Twitter a lot. I'm on Twitter, like, 24-7, basically. And whenever I need to update anyone about, like, the, the channel or what's going on, when when I'm posting, what I'm posting you know, unexpected delays or things that have come up, all of those things. I always post on Twitter first and then I'll probably put something on my Instagram story as well. So yeah, you definitely go and check out my Twitter and my Instagram. This isn't just like a shameless self-promotion or anything. I just want you guys to know where you can look if you're ever wondering about things. Since chances are that if you ask on like an older video of mine, hey, when you when are you posting or anything like that I have gotten a few comments like that in the past with people just wondering you know when I'm going to be posting this video that I talked about or something like that I probably I will see the comment I do still have like all my comment notifications and things on but yeah that's just not the best place to ask I don't think since the creator might see that like a week later than you posted it and you could find an answer a lot e more easily if you just you know maybe went to my twitter or instagram or whatever but that was a really long rant about social media for like no real reason but yeah i hope you guys like how this turned out and like i said i hope you don't mind that the next few videos will probably be more community lot based I've, like, I should, like I've said, I've just been really enjoying building them and yeah, they've been really fun. 
I don't know, it's weird for me to think of a community lot as fun. But I try to go for a very kind of not coast yeah, kind of coastal, kind of industrial kind of look for the inside of this build. I don't know. If you guys know me, you know I don't really know anything about architectural styles. So or interior decorating styles or anything like that. I just put anything in here that I thought, you know, reminded me of like the ocean or something like that. So it's kind of a mix of the two, I suppose. I really like that I use those what what you what would you call them? Like those industrial beams, those metal beams through the middle of the room to kind of separate them and like kind of, they kind of look like they're supporting the balcony upstairs which is really nice and they do give the build like the industrial feel that I was going for of course you guys will have to let me know what you think of the build definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think of it and you know if you have any build suggestions or anything like that I'm always up for hearing those as well I do have like a notebook next to me where I write down all the ideas that you guys you know comment or any ideas that I have randomly throughout the day I always write those down so that whenever I'm you know, building and actually looking for ideas, if I don't have anything specific in mind, those are always super, super helpful. But yeah, I'm, my voice is getting really sore right now. And like I said, I haven't recorded in a while, so I'm not used to talking for so long. But I'm probably going to leave this voiceover off here. I know I, do, I don't normally do this where I only record like a part of a voiceover for a build and like leave a few minutes of music at the end but I think I'm going to have to my voice is really really protesting right now you guys can probably hear it but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this build and that you're having a great day if you did like the video give it a like and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and sticking around and also remember to hit the notification bell as well so that you, you will be notified of whenever I post a new video but yeah, with all of that said, you guys, I hope you guys are having a great day and that your week has started off great. And yeah, I hope you're excited for the rest of the week. And yeah, I will talk to you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.